The, the benefit of having multiple PRVs are that we've got some redundancy in any situation. And also by using what we call a one third, two third sizing of the PRVs, we can actually control the downstream pressure a little more accurately under a variety of loads. If we set, in this case, the set point of both PRVs the same, we're really kind of eliminating the benefit of having two valves because they're both opening, they're both closing simultaneously, and that's eliminating some of the better control that we're shooting for. So typically what we wanna do is look at our inlet pressure and look at our outlet pressure. Um, we'll be using the smaller PRV probably when we're in low load situations. It might be in the summer if we're using it for plant heat, it might be in production when we're slowing down our production rate and we don't need as much steam. But essentially what we wanna do is if this top valve is the smaller valve, we wanna set it maybe three to five pounds lower than the large valve. Now that differential between the two is gonna kinda of depend on our outlet target. If we're trying to hold five pounds on the outlet, we can't make them five pounds apart. But what we wanna do is have some difference between the setting so that in low load situations, the bottom valve's really not doing anything. It's just sitting there waiting um, to be needed, but we control with the top one. So usually 5%, 10% difference in the outlet settings will give us operation of the small one until it can't really satisfactorily carry the load anymore. And then our main valve is going to take over from there.